So Dr. Dre, self-made billionaire, has been in the news recently after his very public divorce he's going through with his wife of 24 years. Just to give you a real quick history lesson for those of you that are unaware, Dr. Dre first found fame as a rapper and mainly producer in the NWA rap group. After that, pretty much everything Dr. Dre touched has turned to gold, especially when he created Beats by Dre, which was really his massive payday when he sold that headphone company. But unfortunately, these weren't the only beats Dre was was given out, as for years he was accused by various women of domestic abuse. That's the grounds his now soon-to-be ex-wife Nicole Young is justifying her, asking for $2 million a month from Dr. Dre's bank account to simply continue living the lavish lifestyle that she was accustomed to for all of these years. For my slow ones out there, this would have this man Dr. Dre paying his now ex-wife $24 million a year. That's a great salary in the NBA, and she's just going to be sitting on her ass. And I understand her wanting at least least some money every month to sustain a decent life. Seeing that I'm sure she had to put her own life on hold for a good majority of the last 24 years while Dr. Dre got rich as a bitch, but asking for $2 million is simply out of pocket. Here are her apparent monthly expenses. Laundry and cleaning, $10,000 a month. Clothes, $135,000 a month. Education, tuition, and living expenses, $60,000 a month. Entertainment, 900,000 a month. Oh my god. Charitable contributions, 125,000 a month. Who's she donating to those sad dogs? Mortgage, $100,000 a month. Telephone, cell phone, email, $20,000 a month. Okay, so let's break this down. $10,000 for laundry. Uh, it costs about $10 a month to do laundry, bitch. She must have been lazy as fuck during this marriage if they were dropping $10,000 on laundry. And I just know someone's gonna be down in the comments. Well, you know how expensive dry cleaning can be? Shut the fuck up. $135,000 on clothes every month. Are you fucking joking? This just goes to show how someone who got handed money would spend it so foolishly. Almost a million dollars on entertainment a month. I want to know what type of sex parties these people were having at their crib. I mean, really, we're in the middle of a pandemic. What is there to even do? Netflix for one person is less than $10 a month. I'm going to get you that and a season pass to the closest amusement park, and we're going to call it a day. And then she wants about another $225,000 for room and board and charity, which is just such a load of shit. You can get a big ass mansion in Texas for about one fourth of what she's asking for every single month. Also, the $20,000 cell phone bill each month is just downright disrespectful. It's time to get Boost Mobile, maybe Cricket. You're gonna have to stretch that dollar. And sources connected to Dre say he's covering all her expenses, including the Malibu house where Nicole's staying, chefs, security, etc. But in her docs, Nicole says Dr. Dre has been controlling with the purse strings, denying her the right to use, among other things, her American Express black card. Wow, you can't use your black card? Oh, the horror. Can you imagine getting to spend millions of someone else's money every single month? Also, if he's making all the money, why can't he control it? I'm sure you ain't starving. Everything is all about material possessions to this woman. I mean, what's even the point in life anymore when that's all you care about? And of course, she's also driven by the hatred and anger for her estranged marriage. In her docs, Nicole goes into detail about the prenup she signs, using the gun to head metaphor just before their wedding. She also claims that Dr. Dre ripped up the prenup several years into their marriage, although he denies it. What's at stake? As much as a billion dollars. So yeah, she's trying to get that fat ass bag. Nicole says things really fell apart starting April 1st. This wasn't no April Fool's joke, I guess. Claiming Dre was intoxicated at their West LA home when he started yelling at her, fuck you, fuck you, get the fuck out, get the fuck out, go to Malibu. She claims at one point he ordered, do not spend one more cent, period. You can't be mean and disrespectful and spend my hard earned money. Fuck that. Yes, that's a threat. I'm putting the beach house up for sale next week. So I'm sure in this case, drunk words with sober thoughts. Dr. Dre resented his wife at this point. Their marriage might have been a hollow shell of what it used to be, and I'm sure they were both very unhappy. I'm sure he regrets getting married in general. And the more money he made, he was probably like, damn, I can never get a divorce because that payout is going to be something serious. Nicole also claims that Dre is furious at her that her lawyers 
Rose are trying to dig into his personal finances, threatening war if she persists. She also claims she became alarmed when he had his brother-in-law come to their Malibu home to pick up his Glock. She says she feared Dre and she wouldn't turn it over because she says Dre had an elaborate history of violence and coercive control both before and during their marriage. She does not elaborate but she does mention text messages from Dre after they separated. In one he said, why are you ignoring me? Why are you ignoring me? Should I come see you? She says the text was frightening and instilled fear in her. Okay, first of all, most of the things Dr. Dre did, at least recently, don't even sound that bad. But to play devil's advocate a little bit, I can see how this could be scary and bring up bad feelings if Dr. Dre was abusive during this marriage. In my opinion, marriage in general these days is mainly for the woman. That's the day a lot of these women say they dream of, even though half of these marriages these days will end up in divorce. And I feel like if you marry someone who isn't an absolute bum and makes their own money, this situation situation is very unlikely. Half of you dudes out here broke boys anyway. The women are gonna have to worry about you taking their money, son. But yeah, in this specific instance, she's asking for way too much. But at the end of the day, it's all a very extreme way to start a negotiation that will, without a doubt, end up with her making millions of dollars a year. Even if she makes a fraction of what she's asking for, I'm sure her and her lawyers will be happy. This $2 million a month doesn't even include the fat money she's gonna get for simply the separation from Dre. When someone is willing to pay five $5 million in legal fees, that legal team knows their payday is coming. In my opinion, in a perfect world, she would get her payout, but then have to figure out the rest by herself. There's no reason he should have to pay her in perpetuity. But let me know what you guys think about the story down below. Whose side are you on? I want to thank you guys for watching today. Please drop me a like and share with your friends. I've been working a lot harder on the uploads lately. Working hard to get these long uploads out to you guys. So thanks for watching. It's been your boy, The Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace. Yo, what's going on guys? So congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. I said I was gonna start doing this thing where, you know, I talk to you guys a little bit more off the cuff uh, for a little bit after the video. I just finished editing the video you just watched. Let me know down in the comments if y'all wanna see like my editing process. I think that a lot of people would think that's a very interesting video because it's taken me years to master uh, Sony Vegas. Yeah, so, so if you're interested in that, definitely leave a comment, but uh, yeah, guys, I've been seeing, you know, y'all's other comments. Some people really like the style. I'm taking the content. Other people, you know, they're getting a little bit mad. They want my more highly edited videos. You know, I don't know if those people noticed, but up until maybe two months ago, I would only be releasing a video maybe every three or four days. Now I'm releasing a video every single day. And I would say at least five out of seven videos a week are what I would call like I wasn't being lazy. Because I kind of see it like this, you know, I don't like to eat fast food, but sometimes you just have to. Sometimes it's just the most convenient option, and sometimes that's the case for me. I need to get this video out quickly, I need to get this story out quickly, and so I edit it in a way that's a little bit easier for myself. But do I love to sit down and make a video, you know, more like this one where I really edit it a lot better? Of course. I just can't always do that, and like, where I'm trying to take my channel and the things you have to do, you guys kind of might not understand because you're not on the back end here, but you know, you have to upload frequently. So of course I'm still going to be making these videos that take a little bit longer and have more editing. And I do appreciate the constructive criticism. You have your right as a viewer of my channel, you know, to want to stop watching or whatever it is. Just like I have my right to do whatever I want. But yeah, guys, I just want to hop on here and, and tell y'all an extra thank you though, because in the last month, my channel did better than it's ever done like in my whole history of youtube so so that was crazy i want to just say thank you welcome to all the new subscribers I'm trying to just make this thing a whole lot bigger out here pause either way guys i'm thankful i hope you're being safe i hope you're taking care of your families i hope you're being there for each other during these you know these crazy times it's all love guys it's been your boy and i'm out peace times too not for real peace <laughs>